welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how group 7 elements form covalent compounds when they react with non-metals. You should then be able to describe how group 7 elements form ionic compounds when they react with metals. In the last video, we started looking at group 7. This is also called the halogens, and we find this group on the right of the periodic table. This tells us that the halogens are all non-metals. We saw that group 7 elements have got 7 electrons in their outer energy level, and we can see that here with fluorine and with chlorine. This means that as elements, group 7 form molecules with two atoms joined by a single covalent bond. I'm showing you that here with fluorine. You can see that two fluorine atoms form a single covalent bond, and we now call this a fluorine molecule. All of the group 7 elements form molecules like this with two atoms joined by a single covalent bond. We can see them all here. Now here's a key fact that you have to learn. Group 7 elements form covalent compounds when they react with other non-metal atoms. So here's a chlorine atom reacting with a hydrogen atom. Remember that hydrogen is a non-metal. Both of these elements need one electron to complete their outer energy level. They do this by forming a single covalent bond like this. So this is a covalent compound and it's called hydrogen chloride. All of the elements in group 7 form covalent compounds when they react with other non-metal elements. I'm showing you here the compound formed between the halogen bromine and the non-metal carbon. And you can see that this is a covalent compound. Here's the compound between the non-metal phosphorus and the halogen iodine. And once again, you can see that this is a covalent compound. So we know that halogens form covalent compounds with other non-metals. But what happens when group 7 elements react with metals? In this case, they form ionic compounds. So let's see how this happens. Here I'm showing you chlorine reacting with the metal lithium. Lithium has one electron in its outer energy level, and chlorine's got seven electrons in its outer energy level, just like all the other halogens. At this stage, the chlorine atom has got 17 positive protons and 17 negative electrons, so it's got no overall charge. When group 7 elements react with metals, they gain an electron from the metal atom, like this. This chlorine still has 17 protons, but now it has 18 electrons, so it has an overall minus 1 charge. We call this a chloride ion, and we can write it like this. When any group 7 element reacts with a metal, the group 7 element gains one electron and forms a 1 minus ion. So we can see the different group 7 ions here, and you can see that they all have a 1 minus charge. You'll notice that when halogens form ions, the name changes slightly, and now they end in ide. So for example, fluorine becomes fluoride, and chlorine becomes chloride. You will find plenty of questions on the group 7 halogens in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how group 7 elements form covalent compounds when they react with non-metals. You should then be able to describe how group 7 elements form ionic compounds when they react with metals. Music